Yeah, so titanium dioxide is an ingredient in both sunscreen and in cookware. However, the size makes the difference as well as the type. Titanium dioxide, along with many other things that are natural, right? When they're in their large size, they're really not bad for you. It is that small size and type that shows to have harmful impacts on our body. There's been a lot more research done on titanium dioxide nanoparticles and what happens when we ingest them orally. And as a food additive, the evidence is very, very clear. It definitely contributes to obesity. Now, titanium dioxide as a food additive is put in lots of things, even things that you may not even realize, like coffee creamer and ice cream because it makes things white, right? So when it's in that form, it, they used to think that it was linked to cancer. Um, the EU kind of walked that back, but they still say that it's very harmful. California tried to ban it, um, and then the lobbyists got to them, so now it's still technically allowed in our food here, but it is definitely linked to obesity. Like that is very, very clear. The type that is in sunscreen is different and there's different kinds of titanium dioxide that are in sunscreen. Now, there have been some studies showing that titanium dioxide in sunscreen damages the outer layer of your skin and can actually make it look older, AKA give you wrinkles, which is kind of crazy considering that most people are wearing sunscreen to avoid premature aging. However, all of this is a moot point if that titanium dioxide is larger right? So in general, when it comes to sunscreen, I always try and use a sunscreen that is non-nano. And there's a ton out there. Now, these are not necessarily going to be transparent. It's going to have a bit of a white cast. That's because the active sunscreen filter in there is probably going to be zinc oxide that is so large that, yes, it leaves a white cast, but that also means it's, it's not going to get absorbed dermally into your skin and cause the damage. It is pretty impossible to avoid titanium dioxide in makeup. Certainly, my favorite foundation has it. It does show that titanium dioxide on the skin it is a different kind for the most part, and it's not as bad as the titanium dioxide nanoparticles that you ingest that are definitely linked to internal lesions as well as obesity. From our evidence and what we know, ingesting the coatings off of cooking pans is not good for you. And titanium dioxide when ingested orally through your mouth into your stomach, also bad. So in general, wanna avoid those.